was a good walk, huh? Cold out there. All right, time to relax. Oh, you're just so cute. I know what you I just think you I know I dog sit all the time, but you are going to be hard to say goodbye to. What should we do? Should we paint? Any ideas? Yeah, me neither. Maybe we can put some... Uh, I think yeah. this is the last of them. <laughs> Scandal in the Christmas capital of the world. Lone house in Tinsel, USA, hangs its lights late. <laughs> I'm sure the tourists won't complain. Well, they won't be rolling in for another week or two, so we'll be ready by then. Let's hope. All right, thanks for those, Charles. No problem, baby. Mm. Wow, you guys really go all out. Yeah. Glad to see Dad at least put up some lights this year. Oh. I know he tries his best. From what he tells me... Decorating was really mom's department. It's going to be a nice Christmas. A puppy would make it the best Christmas ever, but I just don't think that's going to happen. I have a feeling your dad's going to come around. I hope so. I really want a dog for Christmas. <laughs> I think your dad just needs to, you know, loosen up a little. Find himself a nice friend. Ah, oh, you mean like a wife? You mean like you and Charles? Well... It'd be nice to see your dad go out on a date for a change. What do you think about that? I'd be okay with it as long as I got a dog. <laughs> you used to run a business, right? Yeah, why do you ask? School project. I'm thinking about things that are profitable. Profitable? <laughs> well, you need to study real estate instead of restaurants. The guy that I used to rent my uh, space from in the city, well, he had all kinds of properties. But he had commercial, residential, vacation guest spots. Vacation guest spots? Oh, yeah, he breaked it in, too. He retired to Spain, and I retired here. I wouldn't trade him, though. This is a nice place, isn't it? Yeah, I love it here. Christmas year-round. That's why the tourists come. You know, I'm surprised my landlord doesn't have a rental property here. Lots of tourists around this time of year, right? Yeah. Let's grab those lights and finish up at the door, okay? Whatever you say, boss. All right. Thanks for helping us decorate. Cheers, bud. Cheers. Yeah. So I was at Astronomy Club going. Stellar. That was almost an astronomy joke, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> Please don't ever do that again. <laughs> How's the teaching schedule this semester? It's not too bad. It's manageable. How are the two newlyweds doing? You and uh, Monica McLane? Sorry? You and Monica Fry have a three-month anniversary coming up, don't you? You know, it's uh, unbelievable, really. I mean, we've been dating for how long? And it feels like forever. Oh, man. Hey, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's been seven years, right? Don't waste any chances to tell Monica that you love her. You know, I wasn't going to bring this up. Because I know how you use the answer. Your lovely wife found someone at work she wants to set me up with? No, not even. No? Huh? Then what is it? My lovely wife met someone at yoga that she wants to set you up with. <laughs> Thank you, man, but I'm good. Come on, man, she does yoga. Look, Ben, between the astronomy club, my book, Mia, teaching... You said your schedule was manageable. Look, Ben, I just don't have a lot of time to date right now, OK? All right, I, I get it, OK? I do. But you're not from here. I am. And the single women here, they don't stay single for long. <laughs> I sold you your house, what, six years ago? And I said to myself then, this guy right here, he's going to get picked up in a hurry. <laughs> and since then, how many dates have you been on? You just said that there aren't a lot of single girls in town. Yeah, all right, man. I don't want to press you. Oh, yeah, and in the last minute or so, it must have been a real struggle, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
I understand you haven't been the same since your wife died. I know, it's been hard to bring that guy back. You know, maybe I haven't met the right person. You know you're a really good-looking guy. Thank you. All the bridesmaids at my wedding, they acted like teenage girls at a K-pop concert when they saw you. Yeah, but they're not exactly my type, and, and you know how shy and introverted I get when I meet a new girl. I mean, you're a sweet guy, you're smart, and you're a doctor, for crying out loud. I have a PhD in literature. You're still a doctor. OK, OK, I'm a doctor. All I'm saying is, even though you don't look it, you're not getting any younger. <laughs> now that I think about it, you didn't look this young six years ago. <laughs> you sure you going to an astronomy club or some top secret reverse aging seminar? All right, enough, all right? All right, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> And the beer is on me. I gotta get going. I'm taking me out of the kennel to go look at puppies. Oh, slow down, Tiger. Don't get too crazy. <laughs> now you're buying her clothes? I used to have one just like her when I was little. I just love her. I hate to break it to you, but it turns out the boss decided they want the dog with them in Gestad after all. Oh, we were getting so close. I know. Well, their daughter is flying over tomorrow, and she's going to take the dog and join them. You ever think about a dog like this one? Two kids in a house in the suburbs. Why are you asking this question? Rich Wilson. Used to be lead accountant. Yeah, I remember him. Uh, you haven't seen him in a while, right? Yeah, not since he got promoted, got married, has two kids. <laughs> Babe, where are you going with this? I mean, you know I love kids, but not right now. Well, I know, Ava. Oh, with your job and, and my art, I... I can't imagine doing homework and, and, and school projects right now. We talked about this in the future, but you said we would take this slow. And now you're talking about marriage and, and kids Ava, and... we're on the same page. Believe me. I'm sure. Yeah. You have your... art, okay? And I have my job at the firm. Planning a wedding right now and moving to the suburbs? Yeah, it just doesn't sound like us. And that's not what I'm talking about. Where are you going with all of this? Mia, Dr. Miles, so good to see you. So what do you think of this little guy? Did you know that these dogs first came to America in the 20s? You learned all of this in history? Dogs are a big part of American history. Did you know that 30 out of the 45 presidents had dogs? Hmm. Oh my goodness, look at you. You're perfect. I'm still a bit muddy on what this school assignment's about, Mia, but you know, we should get you home and start it on your homework, and I have to get back to the university. Great. So I'm thinking if we take this dog home with us, I'll really study him. It's totally for school. You just want to borrow him for a little while. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't just take Prancer home with us and then bring him back here. That wouldn't be very nice. Prancer? <laughs> What exactly is this school assignment? How wonderful would a dog make a sweet little girl's childhood? <laughs> is there even a school project? You didn't seem too big on the dog idea when I mentioned it. But I tried to fill you out about it a few weeks ago, and I didn't think I could get you to come here any other way. It turns out that the CEO and Rich are very tight now. And there's this exclusive executive retreat that they've invited me to because I'm finally getting promoted. What? Babe, that's awesome. Congratulations. And where is this retreat? Las Vegas. Sounds flashy. Are you sure this is a business thing? When is this trip happening? <laughs> During our before Christmas trip? 
That's the other thing. There's another thing? I messed up. Things have been so busy at the office, I didn't even get a chance to book anything anyway. <sighs> to be honest, I wasn't even looking forward to Hawaii anyways. I really wanted to go someplace Christmassy. What's more Christmassy than New York at Christmas time? Yeah, but we've done New York at Christmas time. I guess. What? I don't know. I just, I can't figure it out. Uh, it looks great. Hey, no, it's not even finished. No, I just, you know, I feel suffocated here. I can't even think with all the sirens and the horns and... Why don't you go away too? Take a little retreat of your own. Why don't you try to meet up with your parents and sister? No, I am not going on another family Christmas cruise. Well, I'm sure there's some place you can find to decompress for a while. Some place off the beaten path. Some place Christmassy. Hmm. Some place Christmassy. We'll see. So I'm taking that as a win. Mm. You knew about this, Deb? She might have run it by me. <laughs> now that this box is out, you have effectively seized complete control of the guest house. Dad, why do we still call this a guest house? The only guests that we have are Grandma and Grandpa, and they stay in the guest room in the house when they visit. I guess you're right. We should just call this Mia's miscellaneous space <laughs> until I get my act together and rent it out. Till then, it's all yours. So I can do whatever I want with it. Yeah, call it whatever you like. I was calling about the gallery space on 52nd. This is Ava Burnden. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You're very sweet. Um, yeah, I'm actually working on a few pieces right now. Oh, it, it's not available? Okay, I understand. Hey. Where are you going? Uh, Rich and some guys are meeting up downtown, so... Aren't you gonna see these guys on their retreat? I mean, I thought we were hanging out. CEO's gonna be there. So. Wasn't the CEO gonna be there, too? <laughs> this is important. We're not? You know that's not what I mean. I love you. Hey, wait. What do you think? I think you're wonderful, and I think I should get going. No, Dean, so. it's a new painting. Congratulations. I gotta go.
jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Everything seems to be sold out. Oh, yes. This is a very busy time of year. It is still available, but I don't know for how long. Where are you coming from? New York. A little time in tinsel is just what you need. Is the price here the full rate? Hey, uh, time for bed. Just a few more. Just a few more minutes, Dad. Uh, how about a hundred more? <laughs> it's all yours if you want it. Great. See you Tuesday. Thank you so much, Miss Miles. What's the rush? I just don't want you to be late getting to work. Why are you in such a hurry, huh? I, uh... Did the street sweeper come today? Better hurry, I don't want you to get a ticket. That was yesterday, Mia. I'll be okay. Oh, that must be her. Her who? <laughs> oh, go ahead, this 
is the right place. Uh, my driver took me to the wrong address. Address? Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm Ava. Ava Burnton? Your, your guest? My guest? Yeah, I I'm renting out the guest house. I'm looking for a, a Miss Miles. Miss Miles? Yep. That that's me. Come on, follow me. Oh, thanks. Mia, Miss Burnton, I think there's been a mistake. A mistake? What do you mean, Mr. Miles? Mason is fine. Oh, Mason. Nice to meet you. Um, could you excuse us for one second? Sure. She's adorable. That's one word for her. Mia, this nice lady has some idea about renting out our guest house. Do you know anything about that? Maybe. Mia, we're really in no shape to... She's very pretty. Uh-uh. Excuse me, you know, I, I feel really bad. I think this is just a, a big mistake. Maybe if you can just point me into the direction of a hotel, preferably a cheaper one. A cheap hotel? I did get a really good deal on this guest house. Look, I'm so sorry, but I think that it's been misrepresented. It looks awesome. Mia, it's really in no shape to be rented Why don't out. you let her see and decide for herself? <laughs> Wow, Mia, you did all of this? Oh my god, it's so cute. I love it. <sighs> well, I guess I better get going. You said you know of a hotel nearby? But since you came all this way from... Uh, New York. Okay, if you don't mind us... Oh, no, not at all then you're welcome to stay at the rate my grounded daughter quoted you at. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh my god, thank you so much. I, I promise I won't even make a peep. I just need somewhere to hang my hat while I check out all the sites. Your daughter's listing really sold this town. My daughter's listing really sold this, mm. huh? Good. <laughs> well, I need to get back to work, and I will talk to you tonight. Okay. I meant her, my daughter. Oh. But we could talk if you like. Oh, no, 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 I've already caused too much trouble. Mia? Right. Uh, so nice to meet you. Enjoy your stay. You get unpacked, and I'll be back later with a welcome packet and complimentary robe and slippers. If, if you need anything at all. Mia. What did you plan on doing? Hiding her from me until Christmas? I'll admit, I didn't think it all the way through. <laughs> what exactly did you put in this listing that sold it? Why? I just want to make sure you're not misrepresenting things more than you already have. Just a Christmas experience you'd never forget. Oh, is that all? We live in the Christmas capital of the world, Dad. Go get your homework done. I love you. I love you too, sweetheart. You're still in trouble. If I wasn't already late getting back, we'll talk more tonight. Good luck. You know, you did put your father in a bit of a spot. You were the one who said he should loosen up. That's not what I was talking about. What I meant was, I just want your father to find somebody. You know, a dog is a man's best friend. <laughs> to some men, yes. <laughs> so, why don't you go take these to your new guests? That's a great idea. Mm-hmm. I just want to drop these off. Oh, that is so sweet of you. Thank you. Uh, you move the bed? Oh, yeah, I hope you don't mind. Oh, you know, I feel like I put your dad in a weird spot. Oh, no, no, it's okay. I think I did that. But he's okay, I think. I hope he's okay. I, I know what you're thinking. He comes across as a stuffy scientist guy, but he's really just a um, mushy goofball. <laughs> Is that so? I sure hope so, or else I'll get grounded instead of a dog for Christmas. Oh, a dog, huh? Fingers crossed. You know, a dog would definitely love this backyard. 
I know I do. The sound of silence is amazing. Fair warning, some birds do chirp in the morning. They don't all fly south for winter, you know? <laughs> well, birds are definitely a welcome sound. Definitely beats all the horns and sirens and steamrollers. You're an artist. Oh, yep. You got brushes and paints, the whole schmear. <laughs> Did you just say the whole schmear? Yeah. My best friend's grandpa says it all the time. Did I use it wrong? No. <laughs> no, you definitely used it correctly. I just didn't expect it coming from a 10-year-old. Well, I just turned 11, and I'm an old soul. Right. You know, you definitely should have picked up on that. <sighs> you must be jet-lagged. Is that really a thing? <laughs> Sometimes. Well, a nice dinner and a good night's rest should catch you up. No, you're right. Let's see here. Ooh, the Kringles Christmas Steakhouse on 4th. Well, it doesn't look like it's too far from here. Great choice. You know, these were a nice touch, by the way. What can I say? We promised an experience. And I've loved every minute so far. Thanks for the cookies, too. Yeah, Deb wanted me to tell you they're from my dad. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'll be sure to thank them. Okay, well... If you need anything else, I'll just be right next door, Debs. Oh, who's Deb? Uh, she's our neighbor. She kind of keeps an eye on me until my dad gets home from work. Oh, well, okay. Well, if you need anything else, I'll just... Oh, no, no, no. I am low maintenance. Go ahead. Good to know. Uh, have a nice dinner. Bye. You have to understand, what you did was not acceptable. I mean, what if she was some kind of... What? I don't know, a crazy person. She doesn't seem crazy at all. She seems very nice. Mia, that's not the point. You seem a little crazy. You rented out my guest house. This is our house. You're not paying the mortgage. Well, thanks to me, now you have a little extra change in your pockets for the next few weeks. Mia, we got very lucky. And you also did a wonderful job cleaning up the guest house. Thank you. But doing something like this behind my back is unacceptable. I mean, what on earth made you do such a thing? Well, you said getting a dog was a big responsibility, and there were costs. So I figured I could show you that I was responsible and industrious by taking care of another guest, bringing in a little extra money, you might come around. You have a one-track mind, you know that? I know where you get that from. Sorry, Dad. It's okay, sweetheart. I just don't want you to be dishonest. You know, misleading people is the same as a lie. She seems very nice, though, doesn't she? Yeah, she seems that way, but just... But I'm gonna have to wait on that dog, aren't I? Hang this over there, would you? because I have to give a speech. You have to? I volunteered, and now I'm getting second thoughts, and I'm really nervous. No, yeah, sometimes nervous is just excitement you don't recognize. <laughs> what is that? Look, what's your speech supposed to be about? What's Christmas all about? And the visual presentation has to go with it, but I'd like it to be artistic. Artistic, you say? <laughs> you kind of draw like a three-year-old dad. Yeah, I kind of do. Yeah. What is that? That's Santa's sleigh with presents. Here, you draw something. What is that? That, well, that one's that a reindeer and that one's a gingerbread man. It looks like an alligator. <laughs> what? Oh, 
Sorry to bother you. Um, my heater went out. Okay, yeah, I'll come check it out. Looks like a nice view. It is. Let me show you from the outside. Nice telescope. Yeah, astronomy is well, a hobby of mine, I guess. Really? What's that? Uh, me always wants to decorate back here. I've been so busy at work, I was lucky to get a tree up this year. She wanted to, like, hang up some lights and do something. It's not really my strong suit. I hope I haven't been too much of a trouble. No, 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 I didn't mean it like that. What's wrong? I forgot my pencil. Oh, well, I have one in the guest house. That'd be great, thank you. Come on. <laughs> Is a, a pen okay? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Oh. You did this? Oh, yeah, I hope you don't mind. Not at all, this is amazing. You're very talented. Thank you. <laughs> so about that heater? Right, <laughs> excuse me. The breaker is a little hidden. Uh, let me see. Must have tripped it. <laughs> All the Christmas lights in here. Oh. I'm sorry about this. Oh, no. Don't be. I just appreciate you letting me stay. My pleasure. Is this just a hobby, or are you, like, a professional artist? I just paint mainly, sometimes sculpt and sketch a little, but... Oh, and, um, <laughs> thank you for the cookies. The cookies? Mia brought them over when she was at Deb's today. Deb? <laughs> of course. Good night. Yeah, good night. I'll let you get that. Sweet dreams. Hey, babe. Everything okay? Fine. Your tray. Thank you. Quite a surprise, huh? Yeah. She seems very nice. Yeah, she does. Is she single? Deb. Well? Well what? Is she single? I didn't ask, but I don't think so. How can you be sure? Well, I'm pretty sure she got a call from a boyfriend while I was in there. Pretty sure isn't very sure. We need some more info. <laughs> what else do you know? Like, Deb, all I know is that she's an artist and that she's from New York. Oh. I was just fixing the breaker, okay? Yeah, we should be fixing some other things, too. Good night, Deb. <laughs> oh, come on. You're not just a little bit curious about her? Good night. Thanks for the cookies. Oh, another thing. Um, have Mia come see me in the morning before you take her to school. Why? I just might have something for her. Good night. Good night, Mason. Dad said you had something for me. Wait here. Mmm, something smells good. Good morning. Oh, 
good morning. Sorry to wake you up. Oh. No, you're fine. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. You know, Deb was a big time chef before she moved here. Her quiche Lorraine is world famous. Well, it smells amazing. I'll be sure to thank her when I return the tray. It looks awesome. You know, these decorations are pretty good. Do you and your dad do them? Nope. Just me. I think I may have gotten my knack for Christmas decorating from my mom. <sighs> I'm sorry. I was hoping to get it all done before you arrived, but it just happened. You know, you've been a great host, Miss Mia. Mia, you're going to be late for school. What are you doing? Oh, uh, good morning, Dr. Uh, Mason. Good morning. Sorry to wake you. <laughs> no, I, I've been up. <laughs> Deb's quiche Lorraine. Uh-huh. You are in for a treat. And feel free to use our kitchen in the mornings oh. if you like. Oh, you know what? If you do need anything, here is my cell and the number at the office if you do need anything. Good, thank you. Let's go, Mia. <laughs> Bye. Bye. This is such a cute shop. Thank you. I'm sorry, but you have such a lovely smile. <laughs> a way about you. Forgive me, but are you just visiting? Why do you ask? Well, I know just about everyone in town. So, unless you just moved here, <laughs> you're visiting. <laughs> we get a lot of visitors this time of year. <laughs> well, I can understand why. Well, make sure you get some cocoa from the Osens Cafe. It's the best in the world. The best in the world, huh? There's a place on the Lower East Side. I think that would challenge that. Lower East Side? <laughs> I'm from New York. Or, well, I, I live in New York. I am actually from a town about like this one. Where are you staying? Christmas Inn? Santa Motel? <laughs> no, just a guest house. Oh, what part of town? Uh, Dasher Drive? Mason Miles. He finally rented that out. He's been talking about it forever. You know, I am um, looking for some uh, Christmas lights. We might be able to track a few down. <laughs> Are you looking for anything else? Uh, yeah, um, a lattice? For the Miles' backyard. How'd you know? Mia pesters him every year to decorate back there. <laughs> she is the sweetest. You know, those two are some of the nicest folks. Well, go ahead, take a look at the lights. If you need anything else, we'll deliver it to you if you want to continue to look around town. Okay. Hey. Oh, and excuse me, I, I know this is random, but how long have you lived here? Gosh, my family and I moved here from Chicago about five years ago. It's a great place to settle down. The town really takes you in. <sighs> but you already know that. How do you know? Because... You have the same look on your face as I did a few years ago. I'm just 
a little stressed, man. Mia went behind my back and rented out the guest house. Mia went behind my back and rented out the guest house. What is this nice woman's name? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> you literally have a spring in your step, and you're smiling from ear to ear. You haven't done that since you discovered the pulsing quasar or whatever. Pulsating quasar, OK? Whatever. Mia rented out the guest house to a wonderful woman, and I'm sure you two are going to be very happy together. Uh, hang on, OK? I didn't say that. You didn't have to. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> My man. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm excited for you, buddy. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, she might have a boyfriend. Well, let's look at her solo stay at the guest house as something positive. All right, professor? <laughs> <laughs> look at you, smiling from ear to it's ear. It's a beautiful day, all right? <laughs> Town. That's depressing. No, of how it used to be when I was a kid. Ah. ah. But still. <laughs> Would you stop? Look, there's all these cute shops and everyone's so nice. You sound like you want to move there. What? No. No. Why would you say that? I'm glad you're having fun in Tangle. <laughs> it's Tinsel. Um, Ava. I was thinking maybe we could, um, take a break. What? I mean, I thought that's what this trip was. <sighs> you want to break up? No. No. <sighs> Not exactly. Not exactly? What, what, you just want to party in Vegas and have a free pass? This isn't a breakup. I really think you're taking this the wrong way here. Well, then what's the right way? Okay, look. You know, this promotion is a big deal for me. But I gotta be totally focused, get my head on straight, no distractions. I'm just stressed and confused right now. Yeah, well, that makes two of us. wanted to do something special for them, especially since my arrival was a bit of a surprise. Mm, they'll love it. That was thoughtful of you. I got inspired walking around the town. <laughs> and I had a canvas, so... Artistic impulse? <laughs> Mason told me you were an artist. How long have you two been neighbors? I believe they moved next door, what was it, about six years ago. Mm. Mia mentioned about her mom always decorating. I mean, I didn't want to pry, but... She passed away. I believe it was a big part of the reason that they moved here. Start over. Start over. Would you like some tea? I'd love some. Follow me. <laughs> yeah, so I've been lucky enough to sell a few paintings every year. It keeps me going. You're pretty talented. There's more to it than just luck. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. You know, I... Used to be excited about living in New York. Dreamed about it ever since I was little. Even bounced around a few times before landing there. But I don't know, now that I've been there and worked there, it just kind of lost its luster. Mm. That even makes any sense? Mm. It makes a lot of sense. I used to live in New York once upon a time. Mm -hmm. I had my restaurant there. That was a pretty big deal for a short time. <laughs> But then I met Charles, and he brought me here, and that was it. Is that your husband, Charles? Yes. That's my love. How did you know he was the one? Well, 
I was madly in love for six years. Had a spring in my step, smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew that the man I was with, I would spend the rest of my life with. Wow. And then I met Charles. I know. It was just one of those things. I was so lost and confused. I had my first restaurant at the time, and there was just something about Charles and this town. I just love this town. And we've been together ever since, and it's been 20 years. 20 years? 20 years. Wow. <laughs> I've only been with Dean for three. Dean? My, well, uh, I guess I don't even know who we are anymore. We're on a break or mm. whatever that means. I mean, he's, he's cute and he's charming and great cook. It's just, it's out of the apartment a lot. But that does give me a, a lot of time to paint. I just, I don't know if I can imagine being with him for another 20 years. You strike me as a pretty creative person. You do. I think you just might not like what you see when you imagine it. So, maybe you should use that imagination for something else or somebody else. I'm gonna get some more tea. Okay. <laughs> and I was reading the other day that you could spin dog hair into yarn. Okay. And <laughs> you can make pretty much anything. Blankets, sweaters, socks. Dogs are very useful. Not to mention loyal and lovable. Noted. I'm really looking forward to the Christmas presentation. Me too. Just trying to zero in on the true meaning of Christmas. <laughs> Dad, you finally decorated? Wasn't me. Is it okay? I hope you guys don't mind. You did all of this today? Well, I'm on vacation. I didn't really have anything else to do. Wow. It's perfect. It's the least I could do. You guys have been so sweet to let me stay here. We're going to the Winter Wonderland scavenger hunt and then going to see the lights. So, would you want to come with us? I'm sure that she already has plans, Mia. Well, actually, I don't have any plans. If you guys don't mind a third wheel. Okay, what's next? Uh, 15, gingerbread men, and we've already found a couple. You know, what you did in the backyard was really cool. Do you think you could help me with a sort of miniature version? <laughs> a miniature version? I'm giving a little presentation for school at a smaller version of what you did would be perfect. If you wouldn't mind, I could pay you. No, what? You don't have to pay me. I love to. What is it? I haven't really done a school project since I was in school. You look too great. <laughs> hey, only three more to go. And we've completed the scavenger hunt. Good job. Oh, um, that's my friend Missy. I'm gonna go tell her you're helping me with the school project. Got it. Oh, yeah? I'm going to hang out with Missy for a little bit, okay? Okay. Okay. There you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, Olsen's world famous Coco. Yeah, I hope it doesn't disappoint. Well, that'd be a first in tinsel anyway. <laughs> it's really hot, but it's very delicious. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Oh, of course. She's um, such a sweetie. Yeah, she is. I guess that's because of you. You two seem like good friends. I mean, she's my daughter. I don't suppose you have any... Oh, no, just nieces and nephews. I just never really thought about it. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's actually not true. I never really thought about it um, until now. I mean, until now? Yeah, just seeing you guys like a family. It's really sweet. 
Sorry, I told you way too much. I just have a lot in my mind right now. Do you have... A boyfriend? Yeah. It's complicated. I'm sorry, I don't mean to pry. No, no, you're not. It's just... We're on a break. He got busy with work, got a promotion. And, well, I'm just... Just trying to figure things out. Uh. Specifically where I want to be. Is that all? <laughs> Do you always keep a notebook and pencil? Not always. Sometimes I type in my phone. Why? Ideas come into my head. I want to write them down and... Oh. What? I never realized that I do that. I'm just surprised anyone else did. Well, as a matter of fact, I do the exact same thing. No way. Have an idea. Have to write it down. <sighs> wow, this is amazing. Did you just do this? I did it in New York. Looks just like tinsel. Thank you guys for a great night. Yeah, we had a nice time. <laughs> well, good night. Good night. Good night, Ava. Good night. Did you hang up a few more pictures of dogs in here? Yeah, well, I could take a couple of down if we got a real one. Mm-hmm. You have to admit, things are going pretty well with Ava. Is this your Christmas presentation? Yeah, it's not quite right yet. Still have to work on the speech. All right from your heart. Now that Ava is helping me with the visual part, at least that should be okay. You lucked out. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say I'm the only one. What are you talking about? Don't you like her? She's very nice, yeah. Oh, come on, you know what I mean. I'm not sure if I do. Don't you like her? Like her, like her? <laughs> I saw the way you looked at her tonight. <laughs> Dad, it's okay. I miss Mom very much. And I know you do too, but... I don't think she'd want you to be alone. I'm not alone, sweetheart. I got you, don't I? It's not the same thing. Plus, I don't plan on sticking around here forever. Huh? I'm going to college. I'm taking a gap year, probably in Vienna. Oh, you are, are you? Dad, it was great. Don't stay up too late, okay? Love you. I love you too, sweetheart. What's Christmas all about?
Do you like New York? <sighs> Why do you ask? I've never been. I hear mixed things. Oh, you do now, do you? <laughs> Is it nice? Well, I wouldn't really say it's nice. You definitely have more room to spread your wings here. Sometimes I feel like I'm living in something about that size. Well, those are beautiful. Yeah, but without the beautiful. But you're right, they are beautiful. Such artistry, huh? Mr. McMurphy makes all his toys by hand. People think he spends time in the North Pole and here. Yeah, well, I wouldn't doubt that Santa sets up shop here, too. It is a nice place to set up a shop, don't you think? Yeah, it's perfect. A little art gallery. Is that what you want for Christmas? <laughs> That'd be nice, but sometimes I'm just a little nervous to make a big leap like that. My dad says sometimes nervous is just excitement you don't recognize. Your dad said that? He's a neat guy, isn't he? Yeah. What do you want for Christmas, Miss Mia? You okay? He's gone. Who's gone? I had my heart set on the most beautiful little dog, Prancer. Dad said to give it more time, and now he's gone. No, well, you don't know that. Maybe he's just... What? There's always Santa Claus, right? You're a really nice lady, Ava. Well, thank you. Do you ever think about sticking around? Here, you mean? Yeah. Well, between me and you, I've been thinking about it a lot lately. I'd like that. You would? Not as much as a puppy, but... <laughs> okay. I'll talk to your dad about a dog, okay? You do that? Well, I can't make any promises, but I'll try. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Thank you so much for coming today, Ava. Of course. Sorry, I feel a little awkward since I'm not a parent or guardian, but... Oh, that's nonsense. Nonsense! When I saw this display, I just had to meet you and thank you for such a beautiful piece and for helping Mia. Of course, you're very sweet. <laughs> I'm so glad you could come today, parents and special friends. Before we dismiss for Christmas break, our student of the month, Mia Miles, is going to give us a very special presentation. That's very cool. <clears throat> What's Christmas all about? Some people say it's about Santa and presents and puppies. Other people say it's about family and friends and helping other people and a little baby in the manger. To me, it's all those things. But when I think about how it all started, with a tiny little star in the sky. But it only looked tiny. It was huge, but it was far away. But as far away as it was, it was still bigger and brighter than any other star in the sky. And people from all over followed it. They wanted to know what it was. Angels, shepherds, poor people, wise men, all just looking for something that was missing in their lives. And they were hoping that that light would lead them to something better and something good. But when they found it, they were all so happy. All these different people from all over following something bright. Something that looked small but ended up to change their world forever when they spent that first Christmas together. And ever since then, even when we are miles apart or even departed, that Christmas spirit lives in us all, all year long. That's what we celebrate, being together on Christmas. <laughs> She's an amazing little girl, you know. I know. <laughs> you know she wants a puppy. I know that, too. <laughs> Hard to say no to that. You must have some all. Yeah. That was wonderful, Mia. Thank you.
Okay, so a little bit of red. There you go. Perfect. Do you think my dad realizes how wonderful she is? No, oh, I don't see how he could miss it. Though that boyfriend of hers is a bit of a wrinkle. <laughs> You know, back in the day when I was a chef, there was a rumor going around that once you tried my recipes, you'd fall in love. I don't like to think I'm that out of practice. <laughs> She's right, you know. I walked into her restaurant with some clients, and I walked out of that restaurant having to know who created this wonderful dish. I can't believe I was able to lasso her. Hearts around the world broke when I married this fine woman, mm. and bellies wept. That's right. <laughs> You know, I have been dying to try out this Christmas tenderloin recipe. Mmm, that sounds good. Let me know if you need anybody for a taste test. Mm, this time, I think I want to try out some different taste buds. But you can help me out with another diversion. Mmm, you know where to find me. I sure do. <laughs> Give me some sugar. Come here. Oh. <laughs> well, what do you say, Mia? I'm all for it. What do you need from me? I think jerk might be the best word for how I acted. Do you think you can forgive me? I don't know. To be fair, it sounds like this break has done you good. I mean, I can't believe you went on a scavenger hunt. I didn't know you even liked that kind of thing. Yeah, well, neither did I. You know, <laughs> I went on a scavenger hunt once in camp. What was the name of that place? Minitonka? Wainoka? Willy Wonka. <laughs> Ava? Ava? You still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. I thought I lost you. I didn't lose you, did I? Of course not. That's crazy talk. Hey, when we get back to New York, maybe we can both go on a little scavenger hunt of our own around the city. What? I don't know, okay? I thought you said you liked it. I just don't know if I want to live in New York anymore. I mean, I thought getting out of the city, it would recharge me and make me excited to go back, but the longer I'm gone, the more I don't want to be there. What are you saying? I don't want to live there anymore. What, you want to move to Christmasburg or? It's Tinsel. Tinsel? I know where you are. Ava, are you okay? I don't know, look, I just, I know I don't wanna live in New York anymore. Look, I've got one more day here, and then I'm going back to the city. I know you're really enjoying yourself, but I'd really love to see you. When you get back to New York with me, I think you're gonna feel differently. You take your time, but let's talk when you get back and figure this out. I love you. It's my building. I'm hoping to rent it soon. I'd love to see an antique shop or craft store or art gallery. Art gallery? Something like that. I was thinking the exact same thing. Oh, are you interested in taking a closer look? Yeah, but I'm curious the rent. Well, I'd initially need $1,000. It's only $1,000 a month? Oh, no. That's just the security deposit, credit check, the first month's rent. Monthly rent is just $405. I might be able to work with you if that's too much. 385? Would you like to take a closer look? Yeah. Come on. What's up? I'm doing good. Just reminiscing about the good old days. And Ava? Ava, yeah. Kelly. You know, I didn't get to meet your wife. But well, from what you tell me about her, 
think she'd be happy for you. Man, I think she is happy for you. You guys were high school sweethearts, right? Sophomores, yeah. Most people were partying in college. You were starting a family. <laughs> you know you're allowed to have fun, right? Yeah. So be happy. I mean, you of all people know that there's bad things in life. But there's a lot of good things, too. Why'd you get into astronomy anyway? Why do you ask? I just want to know. It was you. When I got the job at the college and came out here looking at houses, you went on and on and on about the observatory. Christmas year round, observatory, great place to raise a kid. <laughs> you know, I always thought the sky looked beautiful at night. And after Kelly, I really liked the idea of different worlds, different dimensions, you know, far away. I don't know, the stars made me feel safe. I know things have been rough for you, buddy. But lately, it seems like your head is staying in the stars. <laughs> and you're missing a lot that's going on down here. You could use some help. I mean, as much as Debbie pitches in, Mia needs more, you know? Yeah. And I'm not talking about a replacement. And I'm not just talking about helping Mia. I'm talking about someone to help you, too. And I'm sorry, buddy. But I'm married now, and I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Ava does have a boyfriend. How much does that change how you feel? Not much. No. Well, keep working on the friendship then, because that's what lasts. Yeah. I mean, if something more comes from it, it'll work itself out. But this right here is a good thing, Mason. So don't let a good thing pass you by down here while your head is a billion miles away. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Ava. Would you like some coffee? No, um, I'm fine. Oh, okay, well, have a seat. <gasps> Ooh, looks like you're having an inspiring morning. Ah, very. <laughs> Any plans for dinner tonight? Oh, I was planning on trying out the holiday hideaway. No, oh, don't want to do that. Oh, I don't? Mm, such a dive. Oh, well, the flyer said it's Tinsel's best night spot. Can't believe everything you read. <laughs> I was wondering, do you want to do dinner with us tonight? Oh, you and Charles? And Dr. Miles. Dr. Miles. <laughs> <laughs> I have this wonderful little Christmas recipe I've been dying to try out. Oh, a new dish from the legendary New York chef? Mm, is that a yes? Absolutely. I'd be honored. Great. Seven o'clock? Sure. Good. Oh, and feel free to stop by early for cocktails. I'll be there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. What's this? It's a tie, Dad. You look nice in a tie. Thank you, Mia. But it's just dinner, not a banquet. Deb's trying out her new Christmas tenderloin recipe. I know. That's why I jumped at the chance to try it out. Sorry I can't come. Missy's been wanting me to come over for so long. I feel like I owe it to her. I'm sure Deb will understand that busy woman like you has other social engagements. Oh, I'm sure she will too. I don't see why a tie is necessary. It streamlines you. Are you up to something? There's not gonna be a puppy waiting for me over there, is there? No. I can promise there won't be a dog waiting for you. Right. <laughs> Don't you look spiffy. Come on. <clears throat> Ava. Dr. Miles. Charles, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I just, you know, I twisted my knee a little bit, so. Dinner's almost ready. Uh, why don't you have a seat? After you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm so sorry I have to take this. Hello, Bill. Everything all right? Don't they look wonderful together? Oh, yes. Okay, so let's go. Oh, no, but I haven't eaten yet. Charles? I mean, it's dinner. Bill, are you sure this can't wait a little longer? Look. 
I've already got our plates ready to go to the office. Come on, stick to the plan. Okay. Okay, I'll be right down. Is everything okay? <sighs> oh, it's Bill. Bill? Bill, from the office. Just a little end of the season business. I just need to get back down there. What, now? Right now. Okay. Mmm, smells delicious. What are you? <laughs> I need to get back down to the office. Oh, honey, is everything okay? Everything's great. I just, you know, my knee, I need to get back down there. I'm gonna need a ride. Look, I can give you a ride if you want. Oh, nonsense. No, I am already up. You two are our guests. Enjoy. I'll take them. Thanks, babe. Now, dessert is uh, in the fridge. Bon appetit. Must be nice to have a world-class chef right next door. Hey, I'm very fortunate. She's a good neighbor. She says the same about you. You two have gotten close while you've been here, haven't you? She's a neat lady. You're a neat lady. <laughs> what I mean is, you seem like you've got a pretty interesting life. I do. A New York artist? Don't people dream of having a life like that? Yeah, I guess you're right. Sometimes the things you dream about don't always add up to the way life really is, though. Yeah? Or the way you want it. Not that it's bad, it's just... I don't know. It's not the way I thought it would be. What'd you think it'd be? Honestly? Something like this? I grew up in a small town really similar and... I don't know, it's just not there anymore. Huh. What? It's just that I grew up in a town like this one. It's not really there anymore. The business shut down and... Everyone moved away? Yeah. I mean, I can't blame them. I did it too. I know exactly what you mean. Guess that's why I like this place so much. That's why I do. Well, not the only reason. We're back! Oh. oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Did you enjoy dinner? Yes, dinner was amazing. Couldn't agree more. I mean, um, when isn't it absolutely amazing? Uh, well, you two must be starving. Actually, pretty full. Time for bed. Yeah. Your uh, knee seems to be better. Thumbs and goes. I should get going. Okay. Oh, yeah, me too. I, it was lovely. Thank you. You're welcome, darlings. <sighs> Thanks again. Something tells me that Charles's knee is fine and he didn't have any business at the office. Mm. I just thought you two needed some time alone. How'd it go? Good night, Deb. Oh. And Deb. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> Dinner was so good. <laughs> well. Well. Good night. Good night. Wow. It's a really starry night. I wonder... What? What's that? That one is Cassiopeia and Cepheus. Who? Let me show you. So, Cassiopeia was very beautiful, but, you know, also extremely vain. And one day, she insisted that she was more beautiful than Zeus's wife, Hera, which led to Hera tying her up and sending her off into the stars. When King Cepheus, Cassiopeia's husband, found out about this, you know, he was heartbroken. So rather than be without her, he begged Zeus to be sent off into the stars so that he could be with his wife. And that bright light that you see? Mm-hmm. That's the two of them clinging together. Forever. Wow, it's beautiful. It's also a little sad. Yeah, I guess it is. Dad, there's someone here to see you. Can I 
help you? Uh, yeah, I was looking for... Dean. Ava? Well, Dean, what are you doing? Packing. That's my suitcase. Mm-hmm. How did you get here so fast? <laughs> hey, it's good to see you, too. No, that's not what I meant. I just... I thought you were going to New York. Change of plans. What? After I got off the phone with you, the CEO met with me. This apparently wasn't just a retreat. It was an interview. It wasn't just a promotion. They want me to run the entire Denver office. They tripled my salary. Denver? Yeah, they're transferring me out of the city. Out of the city? Don't you see? We both get what we want. I get my dream job, and you get out of the city. Oh, well, what do you say? I figured, you know, why not swing by, pick you up, and we'll uh, spend Christmas in our new home together and check it out. Things is happening way too fast. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Where are you going? I need to go for a walk. What am I gonna do with you? Don't worry yourself too much. But I do worry about you, Mason. I saw the way she looks at you. More importantly, I saw the way you looked at her. I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. No. For the first time in years, you got a little twinkle in your eye, a little pep in your step. Did you notice that her boyfriend surprised her from out of town? <sighs> kind of figured that's who that fella was. You know, if I didn't like you so much, I'd be concerned about all the spying you do on me. Whatever. Have you kissed her? What? Simple question. Well, I was about to, and then her boyfriend barged in. You do care about her, though, right? We just met. That's not what I asked you, Mason. Taking chances is like the best part of being alive. And if you don't show her how you really feel, you're going to spend the rest of your life wondering, what if? Why is this so important to you? Because you're my friend. And you're a wonderful father. And I want to see you happy. But you have to have the courage to want it, too. I also think you look more handsome when you're happy, too. <laughs> Good night, Mason. Good night. Ava! Hey, what is wrong? I figured you'd be thrilled. You're right, okay? I do need a change from the city. Well, then let's go to Denver. You didn't even ask. What are you talking about? Of course you're invited. You can't just make executive decisions about my life. Ava! No! Dean, I... I know that we both want different things now. If your boss asked you to move to Timbuktu, you would, which is something that I love about you, but I need to know that you have the same love for me, and you don't. Love you, but... I'm just not in love with you anymore. <laughs> this... is a breakup.
I put my notebook? I lost my notebook. <sighs> Have you seen it? No, but I can help you look. Oh, okay. Thanks. Where's Dean? He seemed pretty excited. Yeah, um, he had some big news. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's getting transferred to Denver. Oh, found it. Thanks. Um, he wants me to go with him. So you're moving to Denver? I was hoping to move somewhere a little closer to here. It just so happens I know of this place that would be very happy to have you. What took you so long? I was trying to find the right moment. Everything okay, sweetheart? I went to the pound with Ava and Brancher was gone. Uh, I was kind of hoping to find him here on Christmas morning. Sweetheart, I'm sorry, but I couldn't very well keep him quiet under the tree all night, now could I? Mia! <gasps> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Say hi! <laughs> Thank you for keeping him for the night. Where's Stephen Angel? See there? I told you your dad was the best. <laughs> <laughs> Took him long enough, I'll say. How did you keep him a secret? After you and I went to the kennel, I spoke with them and told them I wanted the puppy and to just hold him until Christmas when I'd pick him up. Simple. You made me sweat this whole time. <laughs> uh, we should straighten up. Your grandparents will be here soon. Oh, I can't wait to introduce him to Prancer. Ava, you're going to love him. <laughs> Mom and Dad usually stay in the guest room, but I'll see good this year maybe they'd stay in the guest house. Well, then where would I stay? I'm sure we could figure something out. I'm sure we can. Merry Christmas. 